Do not rush in here. It will not do you any good. I've got one. You've got one. Not for long. This is my kill, Lucy, not yours. Oh, do we just set a fire off? Okay, we did, and we managed to knock Lucy down. Sorry about that, Lucy. I apologise. Wasn't very gentlemanly of me. Wonder glue. I keep picking up them scents, uh, them plungers. I don't know why. They don't do well. Don't be so cocky with your lock picking. 10 millimeter rounds, useless. I think the reason that there's quite low level ammunition down here is that really you're supposed to come here again a lot earlier in the game. Or I tend to feel so. I've come here very late though. Could have done so much like just picking up weapons that I want. Damn, you caught me off guard. Come to daddy. That's right. Sit down. Nice try. Pretty much an empty room, I think, this. Yep, not much to take. Ah, in fact, we've come to the right area, though. Now, that is the way forward, but... Too slow. I'm only going this way for one moment. Ah, that was William Brandis. Ah, we met him earlier. Or oh, we went in his house anyway. So he was the one who was trying to protect his family. I feel sorry for the like family people in this game. I really do. A lot of them died heroes. Now, is this a dead end? Oh no, this is the room I was looking for, actually. There's a very funny little... Well, you'll see. Get a lick. We'll also hack the terminal as well. Nice. Now in this room there's various loot. Nothing of particular particular can't speak. Particular value. However, there is one thing that you should really look at. Now it's in that safe which we're gonna open in a minute. Oh, there's a ripper there. Good. Lots of ammunition there. Now this is the thing here. Grady's safe. Darn it. Kerlick. Naughty Nightwear. I kid you not. Speech plus ten, look plus one. Take it. 
Just wait. Lugnut has appeared. It's nice to meet you, Lugnut. And we can't get out without talking to him. I'm only going to ask you this one time. Give me the naughty nightwear. No. Let's see if I can do a speech check. All right, all right. My mistake. It obviously belongs to you. Now, uh, you just watch it, because I won't be so nice next time. Now, we can do that, but of course, I'm not going to be happy with that. We're going to kill him as well. Ha! Oh, good hit there, Harry. Hitting dog meat. Ah, uh, dog me. I didn't mean to hit you, man. No, we didn't get any negative karma loss there either. That guy randomly attacks you. I'm not sure why when you steal his naughty nightwear. It's um, a bit of a strange one, that. Right then, onwards and upwards to our next place, which should be through this door. Prepare to meet the mad and stupid. Till you startled me, Doctor Lesko. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. With a terrible voice actor as well. Hey, you're that egg. I mean, scientist kid. <laughs> well, yes, I suppose I am. Uh, Doctor Weston Lesko's my name, and it's uh, good to make your acquaintance. Uh, what brings you to my little experimental ecosystem? Well. I'm going to be quite violent with this guy, because it's, it's this guy's fault that that kid's dad's died. Oh my, such rude behaviour. I'll have none of this from you. I have far more important things to do. Oh, goodness me, that rhymed. How marvellous. Are you serious? I'm finding your interruptions trying. The slightest mistake because of your distractions and my experiments will be ruined. What do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh, wait! I'm a scientist! Oh, oh God. God. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Well, kind of, but as I said before, you could just kill them. My word, you understand perfectly. How marvellous! Are you aware your new ants breathe fire? Well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my mutagen samples. Instead of lowering the size of the ants, the brood hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get near my equipment. I see what's coming. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. Perhaps. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. What can I do to help? I am going to help him if it's only to fix this town. Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Uh, why do... So you want me to pop the Queen? No. If the Queen's your concern, why not deal with it directly? If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. Just how will this undo the mayhem you've caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? 
Now, we can just agree to do it, but always, always say this. This is a hefty task, Doc. I'm going to need serious incentive. Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. I will also award you with my old lab coat. It served me well over the years, and you may find it useful for your own experiments. Sounds good to me. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. They don't scare me. Be ever vigilant. Those from the genus Solenopsis are not to be trifled with. Right, we have another quest, folks. Don't kill the queen, is what it comes down to. And surprisingly, he doesn't mind us taking his stuff. Which is fine, I ain't complaining. Now, you must say that to him, otherwise you don't get a good reward. You get a reward, but it ain't a great one. Or you don't get as much as you can do by doing this. Because the reward he gives you, as he says, is his lab, uh, old lab coat. Which is actually a lot better than our current one. Our current one gives us plus 5 science when we need it. This one gives us plus 10. So you really need to grab it. But also come prepared because the little blighters down here. They are comfortably powerful. Let's go. Out my way. I see it. Oh, I nearly one hitted him then. One down. For the record, folks, we are still playing on very hard mode here. Over here. Damn, he saw me. Another one bites the dust. Well, there's three there. God, I'm a rubbish shot sometimes. I'll move out the way. Ha, ah, he set his own mate on fire then. Sit down. Well, apparently I've completed that. What is that noise? Oh, Lucy, you've... Oh, you idiot, Lucy. Get away. Hey there. You are not to attack her. What do you need? She's being thick. She's actually trying to kill the Ant Queen, exactly what we weren't supposed to do. What we are going to do, though... ...is use the Inhibitor Pulse. Send inhibitables. We'll take that. 